second place finish on the last five spring races here. Can you put into words the disappointment of losing this one? Yeah, definitely disappointed, but you know, we had a great race car, and there's a lot to be proud of here today. Um, our pit stops were, were amazing. Very, very fast race car, and a little bit more respect through some lap traffic. I think it could have been a little different. Um, just got tangled up in some lap traffic, and uh, 16 made a great move and, and got by me, and then I was pacing him from there and, and didn't have anything uh, you know, left to go get him. I tried and uh, ran out of uh, drink, going into turn three and drilled the, the fence, but um, you know, brought it home in second. Very proud of the effort. Certainly wish we were over there in victory lane, but uh, everybody knows we're here. We're awfully close to one of the Scobalt Tool Chevrolet. Thanks, Jimmy. Steve? Stick with Jeff Gordon. Uh, Jeff, it's not a win, but as much bad luck as you guys have had, it might seem like one, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like we've had bad luck. We, you know, a couple of things are more self-induced. A couple of things are out of our control. But we've been running so good. It's just nice to have, you know, everything kind of come together tonight. Um, starting 34th, uh, we had our work cut out for us, but this team did an amazing job. So proud of everybody on this DuPont Chevrolet. What a race car we had. I mean, to drive up through there with only two cautions in the top five, uh, almost could get to Mark there at the end, but uh, we had a great night, great car, and we've had this many times this year. We just haven't been able to get it all the way to the finish, so tonight we finally did. This is something great that we can build on. I'm so proud of this team. Can't wait to go to Kansas. All right, thank you, Jeff. Let's go to Crystal Boda. Well, it wasn't a win for the pole sitter, but it was a great run for Michael Walter Racing and Martin Truex. If it wouldn't have been for that one pit stop, would you be in victory lane? I don't know. I mean, uh, we were off a little bit the second half of the race. Our car got really loose, and every time we tried to tighten it up, we just lose front grip and not help the rear, so we'd end up being tight and loose. So we really just had to leave it loose and, and hang on to it. It was a battle tonight. It was uh, a lot of fun out there running up front with the Napa Toyota. Just, uh, you know, like you said, that one little miscue on the pit stop where I wasn't expecting the 14 to be there, and I just, just slid a foot too far. That cost us a few spots. We were definitely a solid top three or four. I don't know if we had anything for the 16. He was pretty stout. You know, at times we were the best car, at times we were second or third best. But on average, uh, you know, we should have been in the top five. And then at the end there, we had to take a little fuel. So I feel like I was uh, I was running down mad a little bit. We were going to have a heck of a race for fifth, and I, I had to start letting off early for gas. But uh, can't say enough about everybody on this Napa team, everybody at MWR. You know, uh, just been a lot of fun. Well, hopefully we can, uh, like I said earlier this week, keep this thing going. And I'm looking forward to going to Kansas next week. Good things are happening for this guy, that's for sure. Thanks, uh, Krista, and for Greg Biffle, his first win in the last 50 races. Chris Myers, Michael Walter here from the Hollywood Hotel as we check the unofficial results. And Carl Edwards working his way up into the top 10 eight. They are hard junior 10. Yeah, good rally for Carl. But you know, Chris, if you want somebody in your car to run 200 laps on a mile and a half track to the finish, Greg Biffle's your guy. He'll challenge a car every lap. He rode that baby all the way home. And another sad story, Marcus Ambrose, man, he was so strong all day long. Last lap run by the gap gets 20 in. Ryan Newman, who won the crazy finish in Martinsville before the Eastern break, part of Stewart Haas Racing. Tony Stewart takes a major tumble in the points, which we'll check in a moment. He has two wins this year, yet he finishes 24th tonight. David Rudin, a big story at the end of the race in Martinsville about the point system, and now he's worked himself back into that top 35, so his team first to do it through tonight to get to the top 25. Brad Kozlowski, remember, was the end of the chase last year. It's a wild start drive, a rough night for him that certainly will push him back further in the points, but the likable hard drive Greg Biffle, his wife Nicole, you saw him get emotional, his daughter Emma, born last July, watching and rooting for the man, Greg Biffle, with the victory here in Texas. More in a moment. Provided by... but gets his first win of the season in the bigger picture, a truck championship, a nationwide championship, and hopes one day to get a Sprint Cup championship. After seven races, he is your points leader with the victory. Look at Matt Kendon, his teammate up to, and Michael tumbling back, Tony Stewart losing four spots. Well, look how tight it is after Biffle. He's got a big lead, but it's uh, tightly bunched there for second. And Greg Biffle, as we head to Kansas, he has won there before. Carl Edwards rallied to get into that 11 spot. Remember, with the wild card, that's where that helps Brad Kozlowski. Yeah, and you've got to be inside that top 20, Chris. You win a race and in the top 20, it might get you into that chase for the championship, but you need to be on those two pages. And this race here in Texas set a couple of records. The fewest cautions with just two, five the previous record. And Darrell, as he pointed out throughout the race, 
a pace average speed of 160. That shattered the mark of just under 153 previously set. So let's talk to the guys up in the booth as we wind this down. And a big night for Greg Biffle, but how about the guys who have yet to win in seven races this year? No Jimmy Johnson, no Jeff Gordon, no Carl Edwards. And a lot more. Uh, none of the uh, Richard Childress cars have won, the Michael Waltrip racing cars. A lot of contenders uh, still searching for that first win. I can't believe we went 234 laps without a caution tonight. I, I think the other thing, too, is we've had seven races. We've had six winners. And so nobody's dominating right now. That means there's opportunity for the guys that haven't won. There, there's opportunity right ahead for them. So uh, with, with Kansas coming up and Richmond coming up, I think we'll see some more guys that haven't won for a while find victory circle. But that pace, that pace blew me away. 500 miles in three hours, that's pretty amazing. I know Hendrick Motorsports did not get their 200th win, but I still think this was a, a big night for them, especially for Jeff Gordon and for Casey Kane, because that's two drivers. They needed solid finishes like they got tonight. And Chris, Greg Biffle's for real. Never mind all the top fives and <laughs> top tens. He's the point leader, and now he's got to win. And as we said, success in Kansas. Thanks, guys. Good job tonight. And certainly, when you talk about the guys who've had Jimmy Johnson leading the most laps, they're closer, Jimmy, Jeff, to victory lane. Did you see Jimmy Johnson go down into turn three and turn that thing sideways, scrubbed it against the wall, saved it, held on to the second spot? Guys like Jimmy Johnson and Greg Biffle, they're running on adrenaline during those interviews. When they get settled down here in a minute, they're going to be wore out. 234 laps running close to 200 miles an hour down the straightaways and sideways in the turns. That's a workout. For a moment, it looked like Jimmy would cruise home but then Biffle takes the lead and hangs on to win it. Coming up next on Fox, many of you late local news, those of you on the West Coast hang in for other programming. Next Saturday, Major League Baseball on Fox, and tune in whenever you can. Among those games, Yankees and Red Sox note the start time, 3.30 Eastern, that's 12.30 Pacific. We talked about Kansas, another mile and a half track like we saw tonight. Brad Keselowski won the spring race there. Back in the fall, Jimmy Johnson, that was the last win for him in Hendrick Motorsports. We'll watch closely 12.30 Eastern, 11.30 Central, NASCAR on Fox. And don't forget Victory Lane for continuing race coverage for Texas TuneIn on Speed. So continue to keep you updated on everything NASCAR. Greg Biffle, the points leader and the winner. Disappointed last year in his performance, missing the chase, and right now in good position after seven races. Michael Walter and our entire production crew. Thanks for being a part of NASCAR on Fox. We hope you join us next Sunday. Take care.